it's a new year and it's a new me or it's going to be a new me if you're curious stay tuned Thank you so much for joining me. This is a collab video with my beautiful, beautiful friend, Marlene Fab and Glam. And I know many of you know Marlene. She's been on YouTube for a while. She, she's just such an awesome person. And she has, she actually made my list in my top nine of the New Year's tag that I did. She, she was actually the content creator that has inspired me the most this past 2021. So for 2022, I am going to let Marlene continue to inspire me. And we're doing this, it's a new year, it's a new me, or is it a new you? It's a, anyways, that's the tag that we're going to be doing. And Marlene has had such a phenomenal 2021 as far as her health, and obviously her skincare is working for her. She's found a niche in a job that she really seems to enjoy a lot, gets a lot of gratification from, and helps so many people. So she's just totally inspired me. And so my thoughts, my feelings, and going forward, and I'd be really curious to see what Marlene says in her video. We have no idea. But it's a new year, and it's an opportunity for a new me. And I kept looking at myself and I kept thinking, you know, one of the goals, this is going to sound weird, but one of the goals that I really have for this year is to stop trying so hard to be the best I can be for everyone else. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, the best daughter, the best mom, the best employee the best boss, the best wife, the best anything, you know, to stop trying so hard to be so good for everybody else. I don't know if that really makes sense. And to really focus in, I want to focus in on being the best for me, right? I mean, just being the best for me, the best I can do for myself right now. And I really want to work super hard to reshape my body. that That's goal number one, diet, exercise. I want to work super hard at adjusting my attitude about always having to try to be the best. I'm just accepting sometimes that I'm not, obviously, and it's not, it's not that I'm failing, it's just that I'm human. I'm human. I'm, I'm a person that isn't perfect, right? Life isn't perfect but I want to make the best I can of the life I have. And so I've always set these high expectations to try to be the best of everything I do. And I want to let go of that. I want to, I want to take more of a, a sit back and kind of breather or type of thing and just kind of absorb everything around me and just super enjoy everything around me. So working on that attitude of accepting who I am internally, me, more so accepting who I am rather than trying to always change and achieve and all of that stuff. So maybe it's that I'm going to be 68 next month and I just want to enjoy it because I see things happening around me, people my age that are no longer here, uh, people that get sick suddenly and you don't even know or pass away without any warning is giving me a new appreciation on what I, what's really important in life. So working on that attitude is huge. And to that front, what is really important is, is health, right? Health is, is a number one primary thing. I'm an overweight woman and I've always, all my life struggled, all my life with diet. I've never been thin. I have a beautiful thin sister. I have, and I envy my thin sister who does not have a weight issue, but I've never been able to achieve that. I've never been able to, to really just not have to be worried about my weight. So new year, new me. Yes, weight is number one. And to that front, you all know that I got a bike, right? And I'm like so super excited about my bike. And Jay and I've been doing more biking outside. 
so my goal is to continue to bike to that front we brought down an old spin bike that was up in our hayloft up in the attic it's got to be 20 years old i don't know the thing is heavy as all heck put it in our living room so i can get on and pedal uh, my bike in the winter time to try to exercise and get some hand weights so i'm i'm trying to get into a morning routine or an evening routine but more importantly some sort of routine to stay physically fit and stay active. I We went to a motorhome show yesterday, went to Boston. Concrete floors, we walked all around. I was not out of breath. I was able to go up and down the motorhome stairs. I was able to go up and all around on the hot, sometimes that hot floor. I felt that my movements, my being able to physically move around like that was really super awesome. And I credit that with the activity that I've been doing, the bike riding and, and you know, all of that inside. So I got my, my bike, I put a picture of my little bike, my Glenda, Glenda the Good Witch. And before the snow came, Jay and I rode as much as possible. I'd go around the neighborhood. I'd get in six miles just going in and out of the, the cul-de-sacs behind my house here. Boring ride, but still, exercise and yes it's an electric bike but what a lot of people don't understand is that an electric bike can give you an assist when you need it and if you don't need it you don't have to have assist you can just pedal the thing with an electric bike is they're so much heavier than a, a non-electric bike that even if you are getting a pedal assist you're still getting a workout especially when you come to a stop and you have to stabilize your bike and all that so we've been doing really well with our bikes, getting exercise done. To the point where I, I mentioned in one of my videos, I bought a second bike. I did, I don't have her yet. I call her the sassy witch. <laughs> I've got a witch thing on my mind. I call her the sassy witch. She's like, uh, she's a fat tire bike. So my plan is when I get her home, which I don't have her home yet, I'm waiting for fenders and I'm waiting for a suspension to be put on her. So once the suspension is on and her fenders are on, I'm gonna get her home. And she's the type of bike that I can take out on the sand on the beach, whereas my Glenda's a street bike. So she'll probably be the bike that I take camping, that I take, you know, more beat around type thing. And I bought a little bag for her in the front. This is really cute. It's going to be on the handlebars and you know, I can put like my phone in there and all that stuff. But she's really pretty. She's a blue color. So anyways, I digress. But uh, between my spin bike for exercise at home and riding the bike, the next goal that we have is to increase my walking. Now I have a Apple Watch and my Apple Watch reminds me of my movements. It really tracks my health. My Apple Watch is awesome because it also has that fall detection. So if I were to fall, even on my bike or something like that, it would detect that something happened and it would ask me, Siri would ask me, do you need help? Do you need us to call 911 or whatever? And I can give a voice command of yes, I do or no, I don't. I don't want to say it because I don't want her to pop in and say, do you need help? Um, so, you know, my Apple Watch, not only does it monitor my heart rate, uh, does it monitor my weight and physical activity, it's going to remind me to get up and stand around. So I'm going to rely more on that. I'm going to go back to a routine I always had when I was in our my Londonderry office. Every hour or so I would walk around the building. And then in the, when the weather was nice, I'm right on the rail trail at, at work. I can go out and walk the rail trail. And when the weather really breaks, I can throw my little sassy witch in the trunk of my car. The problem is I have to wear a helmet. I'm not ever going to ride without a helmet. And then of course you have hat hair, helmet hair. But new year, new me. I'm really gonna focus in on the health aspect and that I think will help my mental well-being. So increasing my exercise by riding my spin bike in the winter time. And once the weather breaks, lacing the sneakers up, walking at work again, and then walking on the rail trail and then riding my bike outside. And to that said, I know that no matter how much activity you do, what goes in has to come out, right? You have to monitor your caloric intake. Marlene has been super successful. She's lost what, I think almost 60 pounds. And she is just unbelievable, phenomenal results on her weight loss program. And she does Weight Watchers. 
So whether or not I'm going to do anything like that, I don't really know, but I do know that I have to monitor my caloric intake. So that's, that's my goal. That's the way to shape my new me for this year and this new year. I'm going to monitor my calories, more so my carbohydrates, but I'm not going to, I'm not back into that mode of keto. Um, when I was doing keto, it was very successful, but I also, I also lost a lot of hair. My hair really thinned when I was on keto. I'm not going to say it's keto 100%, who knows, but it did. So it, for me, keto hurt me more than it helped me in that sense. Uh, it, I lost weight, but I, I also lost a lot of hair. So I'm going to monitor more of a low carb lifestyle but more importantly for me is increasing that activity level so i'm so looking forward to doing that i can't wait for the weather to break because yeah i just need to get out there i'm an outdoorsy person and i need to get out there and do that stuff that i really want to do so working on toning and just that physical fitness and i think all around that's going to help so yeah continuing with the skincare, continuing with all of the you know, the things that I've been doing for anti-aging. And I know it's paying off because even though I'm filming here and I have, a, you know, lights and all that stuff, I, I see my skin on a regular basis. So I know everything I've been doing for my skincare is paying off. And, and even though I'm going to be 68 and I get a ton of wrinkles here and gray hair, I still feel that for 68 I'm doing okay, even though I'm fat. For 68, I'm doing okay. I look younger in many ways, according to what people say and what I'm seeing from people that I know that are my age or even younger. So that that's kind of really good. So I'm gonna, that's my goal. Continue on my anti-aging. I know people hate that, but continuing on my skincare routine for anti-aging, making sure that I have a super good canvas to start with. That's going to be super important. And um, I just work on the health part. That That's we got to, I've just got to do the weight, the health, the health and the weight. That's going to be it for me. So new year, new me. You guys can follow my progress. I'll be doing updates as I go along. You know, how do I do? Did I lose anything? How do I feel? But yes, I'm quite serious about this routine. Marlene has inspired me. She's going to stay on my case and make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do so that I can really blossom into the new me for this new year. I am so optimistic for this year. So optimistic. So anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you are new to me from Marlene's channel, channel, thank you so much. And for those of you that have not seen Marlene's video, go see her. She's doing the exact same thing and talking about her goals and what she's doing and how she's reshaped herself. Oh my gosh, has she ever reshaped herself? So go check it out. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.